Hey everybody, welcome back to Plugin Tut, your home for handcrafted WordPress plugin tutorials. You can find out more at PluginTut.com. In today's preview video, we're taking a look at the Business Profile plugin recently updated and announced today that it now supports multiple locations options. And I want to just dive into that single feature there so we can get an understanding of that uh, put together by our, fo our friendly folks over at Theme of the Crop. So you definitely want to check that out. Switch over to my local host that I already have this plugin installed. Again, it's business profile. And the huge benefit to this is not just a neatly organized, well-crafted uh, way to make a little location widget for your site. And you'll see what I mean by that in a second. But the huge benefit here is the attention to uh, SEO. And for a while now, uh, folks have been saying, boy, this is a great plugin. Uh, you, you know, create this great schema. Uh, type or, or code that we can um, properly index our sites with and we rank a little bit better and some local SEO findings and all that fun stuff. Um, but what about when a business has multiple locations? So now that answer is finally here. <laughs> the prayers uh, have been answered by the authors at Theme of the Crop. So real quick, diving into the options of this plugin, this was the typical setup. You select your schema type, which again is very important for your local SEO rankings, the name of your business, the address, when you type in your address, you, it automatically grabs the coordinates uh, for that, which will show the map, and we'll look at that widget in a second. You throw in the phone number. You say, what's the number one contact page, right? What's the contact page that we should be using for this uh, location? And then you can set up your schedule, and I'll just expand this real quick. Um, so you can see here, you can set up your days of the week, the times, uh, and you can set up multiple uh, opening hours. But the biggest option here is this enable support for multiple business locations. When I check that off and hit save changes, you'll notice on the left hand side in the admin bar, this all locations uh, option opens up under the locations tab. And when we click that, what we have is the ability to create additional locations, uh, an infinite number of locations, in fact. So if we go ahead and hit edit with this, already filled this out before. It's Matt's second place. So it looks a little bit different. So if you've been using Business Profile for quite some time and you finally uh, are able to use this on multiple locations, you'll notice that this looks like a traditional WordPress post or is what's known as a custom post type. And you type in the title of this post here would be your business name, uh, this brief description area, which I actually don't know off the top of my head if this accounts for anything uh, in, in the actual schema data, the schema markup that goes out. Um, this is a great question, follow-up question for the author of this plugin. Uh, but on the right-hand side, you have all of the options that we configured previously <clears throat> in the um, traditional business profile settings page. Schema type, again, address, grab the map coordinates, what's the contact page. You fill all this stuff out just like you did on the business profile. But when we go over to the widget section, and just to show you, this is in the primary sidebar. This is the widget that comes with uh, the plugin. <clears throat> you can come in and say, uh, you know, which profile do you want to use? Do you want to use the primary business profile or do you want to use Matt's second place, which we just showed? Um, and then what are the options? Uh, or what, what's the data that you want to display? So I'm, I'm just going to hit save on that. So you can just see this as an example. And again, reminder, this is just a preview video. We will dive into this plugin a little bit more in a more uh, deeper uh, plugin tut tutorial. But you can see here, here's the output of that widget. And you see Matt's food place, the address, the opening hours, and of course, uh, the map, uh, the Google map with the get directions link and the display of the location here. If we were to go back to that and say, you know what, let's hide this map or let's leave the map and hide the show opening hours. Hit save, back to the home page, refresh, boom. Just like that, we've cleaned that up. Now you can kind of see uh, the uh, information in the map a little bit better. So again, that's a business profile plugin. You can find that wordpress.org slash plugins or right over here at Theme of the Crop. Uh, it's a great plugin made by some great folks over there. Check it out. Uh, it works wonders with their, uh, their collection of themes and their collections of restaurant reservation plugins. Again, it's plugintut.com. If you do enjoy these, uh, these podcasts and these tutorials, go ahead and hit like in YouTube. It really helps uh, our cause. Share, tell your friends, tell your family. And as always, check out plugintut.com for the most updated tutorials. Thanks, everybody.